And then we got the flash. <laughs> and we got a cryptic t- tweet. I'll give you one guess who gave, who put out the tweet. What was that? Ah, oh, do you want to do it again? There it is. That's right, guys. A lot of people were passing around Grace's tweet. Um, so I just fi- figured we'd talk about it just for a little bit because, you know, it's interesting. So she posted this right here, doing a quote tweet on the uh, DC Films United um, shot gif uh, of, of course, Barry coming back in time to warn Bruce and BVS. I mean, it's fitting that we're celebrating some BVS tonight. But she said, this was indeed a beautiful moment. Imagine the flip side of this if they reversed it. A call for help, in quotes. Hopefully a scene like this doesn't get cut by June 23rd, or June 2023, I should say. Not June 23rd, June 2023. Okay. So there's the tweet. Now my two cents. Um, First off, uh, I could have swore that said she wasn't going to be tweeting about it because she didn't want to spoil the movie. (laughs) Yeah, I thought she was going to stop talking about certain things from this movie because she was in the know with certain things. But is she in the know? Is she not? Obviously, you got to take everything with a grain of salt. There's so much, you know, BS out there and she might have, you know, gotten fed bad intel. Who knows? But basically what she's kind of saying is imagine the reverse version of that scene. So... Um, does she mean like we're going to act? I mean, it almost seems like she's almost saying that we're actually going to see Barry get on that cosmic treadmill and go back to Warren Bruce. No, I think she worded it pretty badly. I think she's just saying like, there's going to be a, a moment where Bruce Wayne is going to be like, Hey, Barry. Hi. Hi, Barry. I'm lost or something. I don't know. I don't know what, you know, she's not doing a good job. <laughs> She's not doing a good job, but I mean, we're dealing with multiverse stuff, right? When it comes to the flash, we have Ben Affleck's Batman. We have Michael Keaton's Batman. Okay. God knows who else is going to show up. Maybe Nicholas Cage. We, there's a possibility for that too. And hopefully maybe we'll see some Cavill Superman in there somewhere in some form. We got Supergirl. Who knows? Maybe Brandon Ruth's Superman is going to be all, who knows what's going to be happening in this movie. All I know is uh, when it comes to Ben Affleck's Batman, we already, we already, she already kind of talked about it, but I've always been saying is the fact that he is not going to die. Maybe they'd film the scene to just throw people off just in case and not leak anything out of him dying, but it's going to be another scene where maybe he does have a sacrifice and then just kind of gets lost. Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be something like that. I don't know, but it's just kind of funny. It's like, Wait, you were going to be talking about this now. You're like going to be talking about this. It's like, hey, hey, Grace, stop, 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 stop. Don't spoil it. You know, we're not going to be trying to spoil this movie. But I'm just saying you want to leave it open for Ben Affleck's Batman. You don't kill him. You make him where it's like, all right, but you actually but he does something very heroic as Batman. I would say that, yes, there's going to be something that probably happens where maybe he just like. When it comes to time travel, when it comes to the, cos- the cosmic treadmill, I really hope there is going to be some form of a cosmic treadmill or something. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what the Muschietti's have in store when it comes to certain things that are going to be happening with- that involves the time travel and the jumping of multiverses and what happens with all that. Maybe some freaky thing happens. I mean, I could only still cross my fucking fingers that Jeffrey Dean Morgan shows up as that, as that Flashpoint Batman. I still want that to, sh- to happen. And, and, and if it does, I will fucking, oh, I will stand up on my chair and be like, yes, he did it. You son of a bitch. I hope that that's kept a secret. And then it just gets revealed in there, but who knows? I mean, Jeffrey Dean said he's not a part of it or anything like that. And then there's this whole, I mean, obviously we know about the Michael Keaton thing, but it's just, it's, yeah, it's all going to be interesting. Bruce jogging on the regular treadmill with, <laughs> with Alfred. <laughs> Just and Alfred's like, what the fuck, sir? Come on. I'm 60 something years old. Leave me alone. I'm almost 70. <sighs> but who knows? Uh, anyways, oh, who's got a well, we got an Affleck hater in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brandon Kingdom come Superman. Yes. I mean, I would like that. I mean, if we're if 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 the Cabell thing doesn't work out and we only there's like a reference to the Cabell Superman. At least get the Brandon Ruth Kingdom Come Superman. I mean, I would be okay with that. 
even though I didn't really watch all that stuff, I thought he, I thought he looked cool, you know. I thought his costume was fine. I thought it was great. I mean, I was like, yeah, I don't, I, you know, Brandon Ruth Superman, he he nailed it. When it came to Superman Returns, he wasn't the problem. He did a perfect fucking. But it, the only thing is, though, he did a he did pre- basically a you know a Christopher Reeve impression. But I mean, that's what they're going for because technically it was a sequel to that show. But I don't know. Grace in her cryptic tweets, but not really cryptic. It's like mm, you said you weren't gonna talk about this, but I guess she was feeling a little antsy. Maybe she she was drinking wine like I am right now tonight, but. But a reverse version of that. So something's going to happen time travel wise and it's Bruce and not. And I don't know. And then it's like, oh, she said reverse reverse flash. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways. (laughs) 